exclusive rights that are that are yours. You, no one else has the right to republish or to use your copyrighted work without your permission. And so where copyright infringement comes into play, I would say probably more often in um, nonfiction than in fiction where people are writing um, uh, educational pieces and different things like that. And you're taking from other people without their permission that can be very dangerous. So copyright infringement happens when you, sometimes it's inadvertent, but let me tell you, the law don't care about your intentions, okay? When people say, well, I didn't know, that's ignorance is not a defense. Mm. So, um, and it's also a, another misconception is people think, well, I didn't make any money from it. It's not about that. So if, if, I, were to go, if I were to download, um, my favorite artist is Beyonce. If I was to download Beyonce's CD, and make my own CDs mm. and go and sell them or give them away, my intent could be good. I want to share my favorite artist with everybody. I'm still infringing on her copyright and she's going to sue me. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> so it doesn't matter whether it's for sale or given away. If I take someone else, and so when you are creating something and you're, you every, ask yourself for everything that everything that you didn't create. Who created it and do I have the permission to use it? And there are ways that we go about doing that. 